Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do pin curls. So as you can see, I just finished doing that to my hair now and I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, so yeah, pin curls are just awesome. If you have harder to curl hair, this is probably good for you because um, because you pin the curl up when it's still hot, it allows the curl to cool and keep its shape longer and it just makes it really voluminous and for my long hair, um, if I do curls, I really, most of the volume falls out of my hair so this is awesome if you have long hair as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I forgot to mention the curling iron I'm using in the beginning, but the one I'm using is just this Chi, and I think it's a one and a half inch barrel. Um, you can use any one, you don't want a really small barrel, you can try that, but I prefer kind of having a medium sized barrel. So yeah, I'm just using this one. So let's jump right into the hair tutorial now. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you what I'm, you're going to need and what I'm going to be using, and then I'm just going to do a voiceover for the rest of it, just so it's not a super long video. So you are going to need a heat protecting spray. I'm using this Tresemme heat tamer spray. And then you're gonna need hairspray. And I actually stole this from my sister, which she doesn't know I have it because my hairspray ran out. But um, it is this suave, touchable finish, um, lightweight hold hairspray. Um, any flexible hold hairspray, not one that like freezes your hair and like, you know, makes it really hard. I don't like those. But um, yeah, you're gonna need a hairspray. And then you're also going to need a bunch of bobby pins. Um, and this is just going to um, like actually be the pin curl part. So I'm just going to start off by brushing through my hair and then applying my heat protectant spray and then I'm going to section my hair off. Okay, so I'm just starting off by applying my heat tamer spray and then I'm also splitting my hair in half and applying it to the lower half of my hair. Then I just brush through that and now I'm splitting my hair just by my ears and I'm going to section this hair off and then just twist it and clip it out of the way. Um, and then I'm going to take that hair and split it in half down the back so I have two parts and then I'm going to take on the side about a one inch section that's about the sizes I'm going to be working with is a one inch size section and then I'm going to take my curling iron and you want to make sure you curl all of the curls away from your face so I'm going to clamp that down on my hair and then I'm going to pull it out and wrap the hair around it and then pull it out again and wrap a little more hair and you just want to keep doing that just pulling it out a little bit and wrapping the hair around until you have all of the hair wrapped around the barrel and then after you have it wrapped around you just want to wait a few seconds until all of the hair is heated through and once it feels heated through um, on the touch to the hair you want to let it go but don't fully let the curl go you want to hold it and then wrap that back up again and you're going to bobby pin it to your head I will show you how I do that curl technique again, but um, I'm just bobby pinning that to my head now. And once you've done that, you can move on to your next curl. So place the clamp down, drag it out, and wrap the hair around, holding the rest of the hair with your other hand. Okay, then you're just going to let the clamp go a little bit and drag it out a little more and then wrap it back up to the roots. Um, and with the other hand, you're also kind of wrapping the hair around and holding it to make sure it doesn't go like all over the place. And then you just want to wrap it all the way around and then hold it until it's hot to the touch on the hair. And then wrap that um, curl back up. Don't let it go, just keep holding it in your hand. And then bobby pin that down to your head. And that's what you're going to be doing the whole way is twisting and wrapping. Um, the hair around the curling iron and pinning it. Now I'm just taking my hairspray and hairspraying each layer as I go and there's going to be three layers. So I'm just hairspraying this and you're gonna look very funny by the end of this. But now I'm just gonna let hair, my hair go and section off another piece. So by the, um, by my eyebrows, that's where I'm gonna section off the next piece and then twist the hair and clip it away. And then again, just section it in half in the back. It just makes it easier to work with. And then you're just gonna start curling the hair again. Just wrap it around and then after that, let it go and pin it. Um, and I had a side part, so on the thicker part of my side part, I divided that into two sections. Um, just because otherwise I'd be curling really thick sections. So if you do a side part, you probably want to do that. So I'm just pinning this other curl here. And I'm pinning the last curl now. 
And then you just want to hairspray all of the rest of the hair and just give it a final hairspray while the hair is pinned up. And then you want to wait about 10 minutes until all of the hair, all of the hair is cooled. And then once all of the hair is cooled, you just want to start um, taking the bobby pins out. So I'm going to do that and just let all of my curls down and you're going to see your hair is going to be super curly and all of the curls are going to be really bouncy. Um, but don't worry, we're not going to leave it like that. We're going to finger comb it here. Make sure to finger comb it. Don't leave it like that because it looks so much better once it's finger combed. And as you can see, there's just so much volume. And I'm just going to, after you finger combed it, just go and reach with some of the hair, some of the sections around your finger just to reinforce the curl if it isn't looking so great. And then just give it a final hairspray all around to make sure it all stays put. Um, and then I decided to pin my bangs back, which I actually took down after filming this video, but at the moment I didn't think they looked so good down. And if you think some sections of hair don't look that good, you could just go back in with your curling iron and just curl the sections and then let it go, finger comb it a little bit, and then you're done. Okay, so that is how to do the really pretty and beautiful pin curls. Um, it is probably a bit more time consuming than just normally curling your hair, but I definitely think the results are worth it because, I mean, you get so much volume at the roots and the curls are just so voluminous and bouncy and curly. I absolutely love it. So I think it turned out really, really well. So I'm just going to turn around so you can see all of the curls. Yeah, so I just, I love how these curls turn out. If you guys try out how to do the pin curls, let me know in the comments below. Um, and also, if you want, you can um, like me on Facebook and show me a picture if you do the pin curls. I'd love to see it. Um, so, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!